So the guys have been nice enough to let me behind the scenes where the workshop is and where they build everything. Structures and pieces of art. There's just absolutely everything here. So yes, 20 baht. Right, what does what? Hello, welcome to Swadi Card. My name is Rob and I'm here at the Ban Hun Lek Museum in Thailand. Not only are we going to be checking out the museum today, but I've been given exclusive behind the scenes access to all the workshop and everything going on, and even secret projects that are hidden behind shields. So it is about a one hour 15 drive from Bangkok to get all the way here, but it's a straight shot all of the way. It's just motorway and then, well, literally we're on the motorway here, as you can see. So it's really, really easy to get to. Trust me, the, the one hour 15 drive to get here, I've looked around already, was 100% worth it. So tickets to get in are only 60 baht, which is astonishing, really. They could easily charge 100 or even 150 to get in somewhere as good as this. For me, these are, I don't know why, they're just so impressive. This entire thing is made up of car tires. The whole thing, used car tires, shredded and made to look like fur. It's absolutely crazy. Could you imagine riding one of these through Bangkok? Unbelievable. They'll make you anything here in Thailand, within reason. Can we just take a moment on this one to appreciate the level of intricacy and detail, craftsmanship, that it is to put this thing together? It's unreal every single piece meticulously polished or painted or I don't know yeah, I've seen some cool things in Thailand I see stuff all the time like everywhere you go there's always some sort of mascot or you know model or something but the intricate detail that's going on here is just off the scale and I think this is why other people come and check it out as well Oh man, I'm gonna get on my knees for this. I think this is for the kids to play with, but I'm a big kid anyway. So it's 20 baht, I think, to pull the levers and you get to control the giant robot. So why wouldn't you pay? So uh, yeah, let's check it out. Yes, 20 baht. Right, what does what? Oh, which one turns his head? Oh, there you go. So you can turn his head as well. Have you subscribed? What do you mean you haven't subscribed? Come on. Now, a lot of people refer to the Ban Hun Lek Museum as being the, the Transformers Museum, but it's way, way more than that. You've got Star Wars, you've got all the Marvel movies, you've got cars, you've got just all sorts of different things going on, whether they're mechanical or just, you know, structures and pieces of art. There's just absolutely everything here. So it's not just the Transformers Museum, guys, seriously. Just come and check it out. It's just the whole place is a work of art. So the guys have been nice enough to let me behind the scenes where the workshop is and where they build everything. And well, this is a replica of Bugatti Rayron. This one's getting shipped overseas, made to order. And oh, the intricacy, let me, let me show you. Yeah, this thing's absolutely sick. I wouldn't mind that on my drive either. So sorry for the noise, guys. Obviously, this, this is the workshop, but you've got like all of the, the bins with like basically all the different parts. You've got all the cogs, 
every single piece they need to manufacture and build these, uh, well, they're works of art if you ask me, but yeah, let's take a look and see what they're doing now. So this is the, the model that I've been given or to work towards to build the, the Bugatti Veyron on the corner. So it starts like this and it ends up like the one that I just showed you, amazing. Oh, so, so he just told me that he bought this um, Chinese soldier from a, a decorative shop and they're going to replicate it and they're going to build two of the same thing. It just shows you that they're trying to buy things. Well, it just shows you that they're trying to sort of buy things like, I don't know, unique items and like sculptures and all sorts and then just replicate it here in the workshop. So if you can hear me, and I hope you can, there's actually 15 guys working here in this shop at the moment. Apparently it's a quiet day today. You know, this is absolutely why I love doing this channel. I love bringing these videos to you guys because I get invited sort of behind the scenes to check out stuff like this. The, the owner was super friendly, told me everything that was going on, what these guys are up to. You know, uh, it's, uh, I love it. It's absolutely crazy. But this museum is just so, so impressive. Uh, one day, one day I'll get one of these. <laughs> So I feel like a big kid walking around here checking out all this stuff again. I've sort of gone back to my youth, even though I'm still 37. But just look at the scale of this place, it's unbelievable. It's like a life-size replica, replica, as if there's like a real thing, right? But all of these cars that are here, built on here, like that's a real beetle at the top here. That's a real truck down at the bottom. They're real tires down here. And it just shows you like how big a scale they're putting together here. This place is absolutely amazing. Like look at it compared to me stood next to it. Like, come on, how do you even, where would you even start to build something like this? Ah, oh, now I've got to climb all the way back up the stairs to get the camera. Oh man, it's actually reasonably comfortable. Whoa, a bit tight though. Can you guess what it is yet? How about now? Oh yeah, now it's impressive. Each and every one done the same way, just using pins. Can someone tell me where, where this is all from? Because these aren't minions, are they? They kind of look like babies with goggles on and holding, I don't know, toothpick spears and they're getting shot out of a big gun or it, it looks cool, but where's it from? Oh man, check out this Flintstones car. Is it a car? Is it technically classed as a car when you're running? Um, yeah, he's big. Oh man, check out a gorilla with a machine gun on its back. Shame he's facing the wrong way. Here's another one of the, uh, the Mercedes that they've got building on the inside. Oh man, it is getting hot out here now. This, this is the biggest structure they have on site at the moment. I don't know exactly how tall it is, but it, it, this, the scale is just unbelievable. Like, can you, can you tell? Like, it's huge. From Transformers to Gorillas to Bugatti Veyrons, absolutely everything here. It's not just a Transformers museum. Gonna go more of these tire models. From what I understand, these have all been sold. They're all ready to go. They're making more and more of them. Like I said, a lot of the stuff here is not just to be made for the museum, it's just to be sold all around the world. It's not just for Thailand, although you will see a lot of this stuff here in Thailand. Most of it's getting shipped around the world to different countries, the US, Germany, Australia, 
absolutely everywhere. And that's why they've got 15 people in today, just constantly working, making these things. And well, you can see why people buy them as well. If they had this in the UK, there is no way they would let you get into it. They wouldn't even let you go near it. They wouldn't let you touch it. You wouldn't, you'd be lucky to even look at it. But in Thailand, you can come and just experience and enjoy and have fun. And that's why this is the land of smiles. Check this out, each and every one of these is a single bolt and then it's turned into this. Man, this brings me back to my youth. This is a Warhammer bike, if you know what Warhammer is. And I wish there was more Warhammer stuff in the museum itself, but this thing alone, oh man, it brings back some memories. Ah, he looks so sad. If you don't like Wally, you can unsubscribe. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, wait, there you can, you can unsubscribe. Oh man, look, it's a, an original Hummer. Look at the size of this thing. I think it's a Hummer. It's bigger than the Bugatti anyway. Ah, how the Bugatti starts. So, hope you guys enjoyed the backstage view and everything that's going on here. And obviously, Wally himself, he looks a bit sad. Hope you guys are not, and I hope you've subscribed already. And I hope you hit that like button if you've made it this far into the video. Uh, stay tuned for the next videos. There's so much more coming up. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.